The top five level seven dance rush songs you haven't played. And be sure to stay to the end to see what the final song is, because I'm sure you'll be surprised. So let's do this. First off, there's going to be a couple of rules. There will be a couple of rules with this list, as uh, they'll be focused on a couple of factors. First one, difficulty must be on standard. We're not doing any of this easy baby stuff. Uh, this would be the equivalent of somebody playing expert on Dance Dance Revolution. Second, the ranking on the list factors in the music, if it's poppin' or fun, along with the flow of the chart. If the chart sucks, don't play it. That's not fun. I'll give you examples in the future. Third, and the final most important one, is your ability to have fun with it. Freestyle ability. If the chart's all about shuffling, that's kinda lame. So it plays a huge factor in this. All right, let's hit this list up. Number five, New Age. New Age is one of the first songs you have access to in the game. It's been open to play from almost the start of the game's creation about five years ago from when this video was made. It's a mix of a funky beat mixed with a mellow, sexy saxophone. Insert saxophone man right here. This guy, oh yeah. It kind of gives the song a funky vibe. It's definitely not the fastest chart or the fastest song, but after you give this song a try a couple of times, you're gonna start to like it as it's a good introductory song to the dance move SpongeBob's and mix-ups with your feet. Number four, next song, special one. The special one is definitely a special song. See what I did there? This chart is a little on the slower side, but what it lacks in speed, it makes up in hard vibes. This chart will hit you. It will, it will hit in the fields. Also, the chart and the music really sync very well together, allowing you to incorporate some nice spins and some high quality fancy footwork for something a little on the slower side. Splice in the positive vibes you get from playing the song and I guarantee you, you won't stop smiling for the entire of the song. This song is 100% hashtag bopper, so if you don't play this, you're missing out. Number three, Toy Boxer, Dance Rush style. Yes, the song is on DDR. Now don't get this song mixed up for the DDR version. That song version's a lot faster. Toy Boxer starts out really slow, but when that bass hits with the backup supporting treble, you're in for a really fun boppy time. This song is a bouncer, so you'll be wanting to hop around from note to note all over the pad, just not wanting the song to end. This is a absolute must play if you like kind of a Neo style chip tunes version of music. Number two, love me and no, not me, the person, the song. And don't let the name and the opening of this chart trick you. It starts off very slow, almost in the form of two individual waves where it starts off slow, builds in, hits you with that bass, and then you, you instantly get the vibes where you wanna start moving a lot with a strong stop, where then you will be able to recover and do it again. You'll be freestyling and shuffling everywhere on this chart. This chart has two sections with the bass intertwined with the music, making you want to, to naturally move to this song. This is an awesome song that you must play. Give it a try. It's a strong bopper.
All right, and now for honorable mention. I know. The strong honorable mention for this list is Party Jumpin'. I personally love this song. However, it's the song is absolute fire. Absolute 10 out of 10 song. Like, it makes you want it. Like, like every time you hear that party jumping part, you just want to go, yeah! But it's very easy. It's very, very easy. The chart is very very short the the song is a shorter song it has like a few it has a few shuffle sections with running mans and t-stepping and then it repeats that about twice um and even during the slowdown parts it's not too engaging the song is amazing i'd still recommend you giving it a try uh it's a good song that you could try that you could consider learning to play backwards on but it looks like it's like the song is a strong build-up but doesn't really give you much of that oomph that players are seeking for when they want a high energy bopping song so this song gets an honorable mention on this list sorry party jumping i love you you could have done better And number one, best song for the level seven list for people wanting to get out and move is Love Can Save You. This song, number one, this song was made by Haidika Haidika Naganuma. I said the name terribly, I'm sorry. He's a gaming legend, did music for Dan uh, Jet Set Radio, Bomber Cyberpunk, a few other games. D he's, he's amazing, look up his music. This chart is a little on the easier side. But the song is long and it's very easy to incorporate hand and other freestyle movements to this song. This song actually has a, a dance routine incorporated with it if you go play um, if you go play the Xbox one of the Xbox dancing games. Also, uh, it's easy to freestyle, uh, allow allowing for some really fantastic trains so you can get with your friends and have a blast. The ending looks boring, but it's because it's so basic, you can do as much freestyle as you want and guarantee the last five to six notes and you'll hit them and feel like an absolute boss. Uh, overall, these songs are great for all players of all skills, thus the level seven. If you haven't unlocked them yet, you are definitely, definitely missing out. You need to try these now, because if you don't, it's gonna explode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below and uh, I will see you on the dance floor when I do level eight. Bye. <laughs>